we've been doing the previous videos, um, today we're going to have something special. The previous videos generally focus on overall body movements. Today we're going to focus on using a small ball to help us and also specifically focusing on our abs, okay? So what we're going to do is this ball is actually quite, uh, quite a small ball. I bought this ball from Daiso. You can actually get it really cheap. Of course, they are proper exercise ball that costs about 60 bucks as well. I got this for six ringgit. Okay, so but our first exercise, we're going to start with a warm-up as usual. We're going to have the ball on our mid-back. So for ladies, it will be about our bra line area. You're going to have the ball on the ground this way. Ball on the mid-back. So I will usually support it this way and slowly lie down. Okay, with your feet hip distance apart, pelvis is in neutral, arms in front. You're going to inhale to prepare as you exhale. You're going to slowly allow the sternum to reach up towards the ceiling. Lie down on the head, circle your arms to the side, head nod, and curl up. Inhale, reach. And exhale. And three. Hold the chin in with you until you touch the ground. And up. Just two more. Four. We're just warming up and stretching the upper abs out because we're going to work a lot of it today. And five. Just gonna stay here, stretch the whole lats, chest, abs out. Hold it here, three deep breath. Last one, you're gonna curl up and we're gonna come over here, okay? So, this is our first starting position. If you don't feel exactly very comfortable on the neck, you can adjust the ball. Maybe a little bit lower, maybe a little bit higher, okay? The higher you go, the easier it gets. It facilitates more of this, okay? So you can have your shoulder blade and your mid-back supported. For me, I'm gonna go a little bit higher this way just to have more challenge, okay? So our first exercise of the day, you're gonna have your hands behind your head, supporting the back of your head, and you're gonna maintain your curve in the back, as much curve as you can over here, all right? And you're gonna bring one leg up into tabletop, all right? So you want to use your abs to lift the leg, one, and down, and two, and down. And what I want you to do is try to slide your ribcage as low as you can, and you're just really, your eye is at the same level as your knees. Okay? Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Or if you want to do it slightly faster, you go exhale, inhale. All right? Four more. You should feel your core really working very hard at this area. Three more times on each side. Remember to breathe. Two, keep the pelvis anchored. Last one. Good, so that was your warm up for your abs. You should feel a lot going on at your rib cage area, all right? We're gonna go into our next exercise. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna go both legs up in the tabletop. All right, and you're gonna straighten your leg up. Hands on the back of your thighs. You're gonna pull yourself closer off the ball. Three, don't use too much of your hands. Pay attention of how relaxed my shoulders are. I'm essentially focusing on my sternum going towards my thighs. Seven, eight, nine, and last one, 10, hold it. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job, and gently release your legs down. Breathe. If you feel a lot going on over here and you just feel it burning, you can just arch yourself up and just take a deep breath in, okay? But if you're okay, we're gonna move on. So you're gonna come up to your side to remove the ball out from the back and you're gonna have the ball on your sacrum. So where is the sacrum? Your sacrum is right down over here where your spine connects to your hips, right here, okay? You're gonna place the ball right here. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. You're gonna lie down on your back this way. Okay, once you fly, once you lay down on the back, you're gonna lift your bum up and plant the ball under your hip. Okay, so just pay attention to how your clothes might give you a little bit of a tug. So, how to know if it's a good position for you is when you lift your leg up, you feel that it's nice and supported. Okay, if you feel that your back is arching, that is too high for you, you can just scooch your body up like where I am at, and then I'll try it again over here. 
So this is very nice and comfortable where I can feel like my spine is just like a hammock just hanging down this way, okay? So now, hands are by your side to help you to stabilize your body. We're gonna go with our first exercise. We're gonna go with our toe taps. This one is focusing more on your lower abs. You're gonna tap your feet down. Keep your leg at that 90 degree, all right? Keep the ball stable. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, and exhale. And three, and down. Four, and down. Keep your pelvis still. If you let your bum move sideways this way, it's not gonna feel much, okay? So hold the ball as still as you can. You're gonna work very hard on the core area to tighten, to hold the ball in place. Eight, nine. You don't need to pull the knee in all the way, just to tabletop is good. 10, good, 10, and relax. Good, so that was your toe tap. If you want to make it more challenging, you can do it with your legs straight, okay? So it will look something like this. One, two, whoo. All right, you can do this version if you like. It'll be more demanding on your lower abs. The next one we're gonna go for is gonna be leg circle. So you're gonna straighten your legs up, and we're gonna circle your leg. And up. two, and three. Keep the ball still, four, and five, and six, and seven. You're actually gently pressing into your fingertips to stabilize your body. Eight, nine, inhale up, exhale open, ten. Gonna hold it here, let's reverse. One, and two, and three. Pay attention to your circle. It's not about how low or how big you go. It's all about how well you can control the spine. Four. Keep reaching the shoulders away from your ears. Five. You can do it. Six. Straighten the legs up as much as you can. Seven. Pull your belly button in. Eight. Whew. Nine. Last one. Ten. Hold it. Ooh, five. Four, three, two, one. Good. And gently lower the legs down. So you will see that as you continue with the exercise, the ball might slide downwards. So if that happens to you, you're just going to push the legs away, pull yourself back up. Okay? That's how you adjust your position on the ball. Now, our final exercise in this position, you're going to be doing this exercise called lower, um, lift and lower, okay? But on the ball. Uh, for the people who've done it on the reformer, you might see that this is a little bit familiar, but with no support. So you're going to bring one leg up, the other leg up, but the only difference is we're going to do it at three different levels. So we're going to make it just a tad bit harder, we're going to flex our foot, we're going to go one, lower, lowest, lift, one, two, three, lift, okay, one, two, three, Lift, go, four, two, three, lift, and five, two, three, lift. Make sure your abs is engaged. Don't allow your ribcage to float. And six, two, three, and lift. Seven, two, three, and lift. Eight, high, two, three, and lift. Nine, two, three, and lift. Last one, ten, two, Three, hold there, Woo. and lift, good job. So we're gonna lower one leg down at a time on the mat, and you can choose two ways to come off. You can either just roll off to the side or lift your bum and remove the ball again. Okay, great job. So our next exercise is going to have your ball in between your legs. So this one works a little bit up your inner thighs. When you connect good, uh, if you connect well through your inner thighs, you're actually going to be able to feel more of the abdominal connection, okay? The deeper connection will feel better. So, ball is gonna go between your legs. You're still lying down. Today's a lying down exercise, okay? So, you're gonna lie down on your back this way. The ball, you're gonna flatten your spine, bring one leg up to tabletop, have the heels come onto the balls, and you're gonna turn your legs out, okay? 
Hands to the side at 45 degrees. You don't have to keep it into your mat this way because sometimes your shoulders will be rounded. But if you want to, and you feel like your shoulders are rounded, you can actually have your palms facing up and keep thinking about widening up the collarbones. Okay, so I'm gonna do palms down. So from here, flex your feet, come onto the ball, uh, ball with your legs. You're gonna inhale to prepare, exhale, reach. I'm just gonna add in a point just to show off. And flex. And three. And bend. And four. And bend. And five. If you want to test your coordination, you can do this too. Point as you straighten, flex as you return. Six. Seven. Feel like you're reaching your legs away. Eight. And as you do that, you're keeping the ribcage heavy on the mat. Last one. Ten. Hold it here. Lift the leg up and down. And two. And down. Good. Three. And down. And four. And down. And five. Hold it here. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And relax. Good. So, we're going to go into the next exercise with a little bit more twisting, okay? Targeting more into your obliques. What we've been doing so far is really working a lot on our erectus, which is our six-pack muscle, okay? So, if you want more oblique work, which is the one that will change your waist for you, this is the exercise you're gonna do more of, okay? So, you're gonna still flatten your belly, bring the leg up, straighten up, you're gonna twist the legs, lower away, and lift, twist, lower, and lift, twist, lower, and lift. So, one leg is level will be lower than the other side. Keep the shoulders stable. Seven. Keep drawing your belly button in. Eight. Feel nothing in your spine. Ten. Good. All right. If you like more of that feeling, go for more. You can do double up on this side. All right. So we're going to go into our next exercise. So the ball is still in between your legs. This time you're going to straighten your legs away. Okay. Now, you're going to have your arms overhead, inhale, reach your arms up, slide the ribcage down, squeeze the ball with your legs, and you're going to curl your upper body up. Let's go. Ooh. And down. And two. Hold on to your legs, it will help you. Reach. And down. And three. And down. And four. And down. Try not to have too much tension in between your neck and your shoulders. Five. We're gonna hold it here. Okay, sit upright. You're gonna grab onto your ball and you're gonna have your hands by your side. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring your legs up. So from here, you're gonna bend your knees, walk your hands back, and lift. And down. Two. Three. Keep the back flat. Four and five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. Okay, so if you feel it in your back, maybe uh, being a little bit more careful with the range that you're going, maybe the range is too far for you. So just watch out for that. Go wherever your back feels comfortable, but keep drawing your belly button in to see which is the comfortable range for you. Okay, so our last exercise. We're gonna come into our sides. So from here, you're gonna come onto your side on your elbow this way. The ball is gonna go in between your legs. Okay, so as you can see, the ball is just rolling front and back on its own. If you want to, you can have your hands on your hip or you can have your hands in front to support you, okay? So I'm gonna opt with the hands in front. So you can see that I'm resting on my fingertips only, not palms, because it will pull my shoulder this way. Keep the shoulder nice and wide still. Now from here, you're gonna inhale to prepare. Exhale, lift the leg up, and you're gonna twist the ball. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold it up, lift one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now hold it, ten, nine, eight, 
seven, feel it here, six, five, four, three, two, higher, one, and relax, and we're gonna change side, good job, over to the other side, you're gonna come onto your elbow, okay, pack the ball in between your leg, straighten the leg away, good, come onto your side elbow this way, and hands in front, or on the waist, up to you, and from here, make sure you're pushing yourself away from the ribcage, you're gonna lift, and scissor, one, two, three, four, five, remember to breathe, six, whew, seven, eight, nine, and ten, lift, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, hold, ten, nine, eight, higher, seven, six, five, pinch the waist, four, three, two, and one, very good, now, our, that was our final exercise, but I'm going to give you a few bonus exercises, okay, so, if you feel like, hey, today I only, own, I only worked on my abs, and you want to work a little bit more on your thighs, on your bum, and on your chest as well, this is the bonus exercise for you, okay, so, bonus exercise number one, you're going to have the ball in between your elbows, this way, Okay, and you're going to clasp your hands together. So I'm just going to go at an angle this way, and I'm going to squeeze the ball, okay? I'm just going to go a little bit lower to feel more, okay? Squeeze the ball, touch your palms together, and you should feel your chest working really hard to do this. Inhale, release, and three. Inhale, release, and four. And release, and five. And release, and six. Good, keep going. And seven and release, eight, and release, nine, and release, last one, ten, hold it here, keep breathing, ten, nine, eight, oh, seven, six, keep it hard, five, four, keep squeezing, three, two, one, and relax, very good, that's a very exercise for your chest and your insides of your arm as well, okay, so for our final exercise, the bonus exercise, you're going to come onto your knees this way, into your kneeling position, all right, so make sure that you're squaring your pelvis and your shoulders to the side. You're going to squeeze the butt cheek so that your pelvis is not folded this way. Squeeze butt forward, inhale to prepare, everything stacking in a nice long line, lengthening through the top of the head. You're gonna lean back. As you lean back, make sure you're not sitting or arching your chest too much. Hold it here, circle, head back up, and two, lean, and up and up, four, and up, five, and up, six, and up, seven, and up, eight, and up, nine, and up, last one, ten, and up, okay? If you like, reverse the other side, okay? so. Great job today. I hope you enjoy our app series with our little friend over here, our ball. If you don't have a ball, don't worry about it. You can grab anything that turns, actually. Um, you can use kids ball, anything like that, and as long as it works for you. If there is any requests that you have, please let me know. Um, drop me a message on my Instagram. Please like and subscribe. Press the notification bell button for more updates of videos. All right? Take care. Stay safe. Bye.